Welcome to the import scheduler. In this video, I'll be uh, demonstrating how you can create a scheduled import record in the user interface right here in the back end of NetSuite. First, you'll notice that we're viewing a page called the, it's the list of all the scheduled imports. You can find this page um, if you type into the global search bar and just click page scheduled import. Um, this is a list of all the scheduled imports um, that have been created already. Um, and so one way to create a new scheduled import is to click this blue button here. Um, it's also possible for you to add it as a shortcut, which I've done here. So I'm going to click scheduled import. And it's going to take me to a new empty record. The first thing I should do is decide on a date when I want it to import. Um, say I want it to import um, when I'm not at work um, on Saturday, and I want it to happen um, at 1 a.m. So select the date and then the hour of the import in 24 hour time. Then you indicate who you are. Um, you can put your email address here. Um, or your name. So I'm going to say, well, I'm uh, employee Bob, and I'm requesting this import. And then I select the import template record. Um, each of these import template records corresponds to an existing import template in NetSuite. You can find your import templates by going to Setup, um, Import Export, and uh, Saved CSV Imports. That's your list of all your import templates. For each import template that you want to make available for your scheduled imports, you'll need to create uh, a new custom record called import, an import template record. Um, and basically, it's just connecting the name to the internal ID of that import template. So there's a little bit of homework you have to do the first time you want to use an import template. And after that, you just select it. Say, oh, I want to update the item base price. I know that template. I'll just use that one. And then you can add any notes you might have. Like, uh, these are changes uh, at the end of the sale, uh, something like that. Um, because one of the common use cases for a scheduled import would be changing item prices um, on a schedule so you don't have to worry about when the change occurred. You don't have to get up really early or stay at the office really late. To make those imports, you can just schedule it to happen um, whenever you'd like. Um, and then finally, you have to attach one or more files. Um, you can, if you already have the file in the file cabinet for some reason, you can find it this way. Or you can cl click New um, and choose the file from your computer. When you're done, you, and you, can, you can add multiple files if you like. Um, the limitations on how many files and how big they are that your system can handle will depend on your particular NetSuite instance. Um, but generally, any large files, say more than 5,000 lines, I would just keep it to one file per scheduled import record. You can create multiple scheduled imports um, scheduled for the same time if you'd like. Um, if it's a smaller um, file with not too many lines or not too many fields to update, um, you could add a whole bunch of files here if you'd like, um, up, certainly up to nine or 10. And then you hit save and that scheduled import is ready to go. It is um, sort of waiting for its time.